Part 2 says that the circle passes through the point minus 3k. k, and it's telling us also that k is negative. So we can, to work out what k is, that k is the y value when x is equal to minus 3. So if we make x equal to minus 3 and put it into this equation here that we found in part 1, and substitute k in for y. If we then solve this equation, we'll get what k is. So minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2. Minus 2 squared is 4. So we've got 4 plus k minus 2 squared equals 13. And we can solve this equation really easily. We don't need to expand the brackets. I can take away the 4, which will give me k minus 2 squared equals 9. I can square root, which will give me k minus 2 is either plus 3 or minus 3. And then I can add on the 2. So k is either 2 plus 3 or 2 minus 3. So k is either 5 or 2 minus 3 is negative 1. It said that k was negative. It said k was less than 0. So since, whoops, since k is negative... K must equal negative 1.